This morning, as we get you and your kids ready for the start of the school year, we have an important warning about bullies at school. Joining us this morning to talk about the problem and also how to protect your children, Dr. Gotti Corpus, a pediatrician with the Baylor Scott and White Clinic in Cedar Park. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. Yeah, John, thanks for having me here. So, you know, we typically think of bullying as kind of the, you know, school hallway type of stuff, but there are different types of bullying. And I want to put up a graphic if we have here to talk, but there are really three different types. There's verbal, social, and physical bullying. In your expertise, do you see any differences in the way um, the problems from them manifest themselves, or is it all just for the same thing? No, there, it can range anywhere um, from the symptoms for those who are bullied, the victims and the bullying, can range anywhere from sleep disturbances, uh, appetite issues, um, lack of energy, um, it can be anxiety or depression, and kids refusing to go to school or being tardy. So you mentioned some of those symptoms there. A lot of parents watching this. You, know, you send your kids off to school each day. You, you hope everything goes well. Correct. You hope if something goes wrong that they would tell you. But it, aside from those, is there something to look for in your kids to say, hey, maybe, maybe we need to find out a little more about of what's course, going uh, on? Of course, physical injuries can be obvious. Um, a mm -hmm. decline in academic performance can be a sign of uh, bullying. Kids now, just don't like going to school, correct. right? And remember, um, the important thing about bullying, what is defined as aggressive behavior towards a perceived power imbalance. Mm -hmm. And um, it affects uh, kids of all ages. Statistics show that uh, from middle school and high school students, about one out of four kids are bullied. Wow, what and two thirds of those are not reported. Do we see, um, is there a difference? Is it more common with boys, with girls? Actually, the incidence of uh, bullying is the same for boys, boys and girls. Uh -huh. uh, boys tend to get uh, more of the uh, physical um, aspects of it, whereas girls would be more towards the uh, psychosocial um, bullying. So schools have been trying to figure out now for years, how do you deal with this? Because the kids should go to school and they should be safe. In your experience, have you found that the sort of zero tolerance policies are effective? Well, there are studies to show, and even in my experience, that zero tolerance policies have not shown to be effective. Mm -hmm. And then mediation and conflict resolution uh, between those who are bullied and the perpetrators uh, have actually done more damage than good. Uh, we do have some therapeutic strategies that help, uh, that promote openness, um, like groups or social clubs, that um, create uh, empathy and compassion that has helped over time. And also creating safe heavens uh, for the victims so that they're able to talk about what's been happening without the fear of retaliation or revenge. All right, Dr. Gotti Corpus, thank you very much. Great advice.